Uh, hi guys, it's Eric. I'm still making videos for some reason. Uh, today is a very special episode because I'm on location uh, with a guest star. Uh, a really famous and important guest star. Uh, introduce yourself. I'm Eric's little sister. I'm Morgan. <laughs> this is my little sister. This is part of my friends and family program after John. Yesterday I'm gonna wrangle everyone I know into doing videos. Uh, so today I had kind of promised myself I was gonna do a video with a little more substance in it. Uh, something that I think would be useful. The kind of video that initially uh, when I started getting into film I had looked for on YouTube and hadn't really found. So uh, what I want to do today is something on Portra 400. Kodak Portra 400. Um, its uses, its look, uh, what you can expect from it. We're going to take some photos and we're going to post them and you can kind of get an idea of what the film is all about, what it brings to the table, and uh, what you can use it for. So Kodak Portra 400 uh, is a film specifically designed for portraiture, as the name would indicate. Uh, portrait comes in three different speeds. It comes in a 160 speed, it comes in a 400 speed, and an 800. Now according to Kodak's documentation on the website, the higher the speed of the film, the more saturated it's going to get and the less fine-grained it's going to get. Now what Portra 400 brings to the table, uh, beyond the, the relatively fast speed and fine grain, um, is its enormous exposure latitude. I've heard it's something like 16, uh, something in that range, 16 stops. It allows you to shoot in a really specific way and it's become a favorite among wedding photographers, engagement photographers, portrait photographers, because it allows you to overexpose the film and get a really interesting signature look that's almost uh, unachievable through digital. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take Morgan's picture. Um, we're gonna play with exposure. We're gonna see how we can get it to look. Uh, we're gonna underexpose some images, overexpose some images, and I think we're probably at the end just gonna walk around and take some pictures. I'm gonna post them all and you can get an idea of what you can get out of the film. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, first things first, we're going to be overexposing the film quite a bit. Um, we're going to do this to start by rating the 400 speed portrait film at 200. This is going to overexpose us right off the bat by one stop. Uh, next, I'm going to use the spot meter here, and it can be, you know, this is a digital spot meter, but it could be any type, uh, to meter for the shadows. Um, ideally, you're going to want to overexpose the film somewhere in the two to three stop range. Uh, that's going to give you that really smooth, creamy pastel uh, look to your photos that's very, very difficult to reproduce with the digital camera. Um, what you're going to find is that on digital, when you overexpose too much, because it's a completely two-dimensional surface, you're going to click over to a white pixel that dad has lost forever and ever. Uh, whereas film is a three-dimensional object, so an overexposed negative is just a thicker negative, and it's much much harder, particularly with color negative film, to cross that you know metaphorical event horizon where you can't get your data back. How can, how can you look good in the picture? I don't know, I don't know. It's like weird because I'm like by myself. Because you're by yourself? That's good, that's fine. And good. That's fine. Let's try. Switch it to portrait orientation. I think this could look really cool actually. Is the backdrop is no dead arms. Do something with the other one. <laughs> That's really good. And so what I want to do is I'd actually like you to try to take a picture with this later if, okay. you, if you're interested at all. Because that's what I had Gullo do. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. I think. Alright. All right, so there you have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, what did you think? What do you think? I know you, t you got a chance to take some pictures. What did you think? It's fun. It's a lot easier. For me, it was a lot easier when it was on the tripod because, well, like just now, we took a bunch of pictures of these flowers and such, as you may have seen. No, um, no, no, no one no, saw that. That's the, the photos will be in the video. Okay. You, you may have seen it actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Through the magic of YouTube television, right. but uh, you didn't see it. It actually happened. No, not in, in progress. <laughs> but yeah, on the tripod, it's a lot easier because you have balance and control over the large camera. What is the camera? The the, uh, the Mamiya RB67. Yeah. So you're not wrestling the weight it's, it's very of heavy. a 10-pound yeah. camera while trying to right, so fine-tune the focus. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Not, yeah, it's cool, and you get to see it actually happening, which it, is really cool. It's cool. The 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 ground glass or the viewfinder is, I think, the coolest part of that camera because it looks like real life, like mm -hmm. you're looking into real life. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Versus a digital screen or even a 35 millimeter viewfinder, there's something about that that's really surreal, mm -hmm. especially as you as you change the focus. But uh, 
Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, it's, you know, I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that Portrait is my favorite film. I was really excited to do this. I'm really excited to see what the photos look like. I assume they're already in the video. And I'm going to be doing more of these videos in the future going forward. I want to do slide film, definitely Velvia. I want to do one on Ektar even though I hate it. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and some black and white stuff. And I definitely want to do some darkroom content uh, showing you how to develop your own black and white film uh, either in a lab or at home. So. Uh, thank you to my, my assistant and sister, Morgan, uh, and, and goodbye.